We are given this expression with so many square roots, and our job is to make this ratio into a more simpler form. So, can you do it? First, we rewrite the square root of 9 as the square root of 3 times square root of 3 and the square root of 15 as square root of 3 times square root of 5. Similarly, we can rewrite the square root of 12 in the denominator as square root of 4 times square root of 3, which simplifies to 2 times square root of 3. Now this square root of 1 will simply be equal to 1. Great! Next, we observe that the numerator contains terms that can be grouped. The terms square root of 3 plus square root of 5 remain the same, while from this part, we can take square root of 3 as common to get square root of 3 times square root of 3 plus square root of 5. Wow! The numerator factors out as 1 plus the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 plus the square root of 5. For the denominator, we rearrange the terms 1 plus square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 3 as 1 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 5. Noise. Let us call this fraction as a variable x. Now, here comes the magic. If this is x, then 1 over x will be this, right? Let us simplify it. To do so, we split the fraction into two separate terms. The first term is 1 plus square root of 3 divided by this, which simplifies to 1 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 5. The second term is square root of 3 plus square root of 5 divided by this, which simplifies to 1 divided by 1 plus square root of 3. As a next step, we will rationalize each term separately. To rationalize 1 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 5, we multiply both the numerator and denominator by square root of 5 minus square root of 3. Use a plus b times a minus b equals a square minus b square here to get this denominator as 5 minus 3 or 2. So 1 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 5 simplifies to square root of 5 minus square root of 3 divided by 2. Similarly, to rationalize 1 divided by 1 plus square root of 3, we multiply both numerator and denominator by square root of 3 minus 1. Again, using this, we get this denominator as 3 minus 1 or 2. So, this simplifies to square root of 3 minus 1 divided by 2. Now, by adding these two results, since the denominators are the same, we combine the numerators to obtain this. Oh, look! Square root of 3 gets cancelled out, and we are left with square root of 5 minus 1, divided by 2 as 1 over x. So, x equals 2 over the square root of 5 minus 1. We will rationalize this one last time by multiplying both numerator and denominator by the square root of 5 plus 1. Again, using this, we get the denominator as 5 minus 1 or 4. This 2 gets cancelled out with 4, and we get x equals 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. This is giving me goosebumps, and I am in shock right now, because this number is equal to none other than the well-known golden ratio, which is a special number that appears in nature, art, and mathematics. So all this ugly-looking square roots simplify to this beautiful golden ratio. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So good!